that we have a wonderful guest from the Diocese of Rockford, and I keep moving him to Chicago, so correct me like if I miss this <laughs> up. We're going to welcome Father Kyle Mano via Skype. Thanks so much for being with us, Father. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Now tell me, you have a, um, a vocation story that's really pretty unique with a call to the diaconate. Tell us uh, how that changed, and now you're a priest of the Diocese of Rockford. Yeah, so I came to college over at a place called Northern Illinois University, where I'm actually a priest now. And I entered college, really a lukewarm Catholic, like going to Mass once in a while, and then jumped back into my faith by uh, really encountering an amazing priest who was on fire for the Lord. And as I kind of grew in my faith and became more Catholic, I then really felt this call to diaconate. And I remember going to the priest and I said, Father, I want to have like 10 kids. I want to be a music teacher and a musician. And then when I'm like 50 years old, I'll be a deacon. And then right there, he said, well, what about being a priest? And I said, um, nope. He <laughs> said, why not? And I said, well, I guess the first reason I don't want to be a priest is because I want to be happy. And I thought that at that time, priests were like not right joyful people. I thought there was like the one priest who I met but everyone else was kind of um, kind of sour in life. And so really, by encountering this amazing priest, I then started asking that question. Maybe I could be one too. And then full circle, I you know it all came down to prayer. And then I'm now back in that office where I first met with that priest in the parish. Amazing, amazing. Father, that's beautiful. And we can see the joy that you have. So uh, truly, yeah, God I'm has that plan for you. But now in, in your service in the Archdiocese of Chicago, what is your assignment? I am assigned at a Newman Center, so I'm with a, all the university students, and then I'm also the vocation director for the diocese as well. Oh, wow. So you're a, a pretty busy person, but you've also made some time for social media. So tell us a little bit about More Cake, Please, and Priest with a Mic, and, which is kind of a in-the-street kind of thing. I love your videos. I just saw the one about Mary that you did on uh, YouTube, uh, which was really pretty cool. So tell us about that. Sure. Yeah. So More Cake Please is actually a non for profit that the Lord inspired me to create. And it's called More Cake Please because the premise is we encounter like the spiritual delights of the Lord. Our spiritual taste buds are opened up. And then the more we encounter him, God willing, the videos want us to then feast on him in the mass, in the Eucharist. And through that, the really initial movement of making that was the Lord inspiring me to just go to the street, have a priestly presence, and ask people questions about what is love, who is God, what does it mean to be Catholic, what are we all searching for, and just encountering truth in the random person on the street, and it's amazing to see what the Lord does. That's beautiful, an amazing energy that you create inside those videos, but Father, what made you decide to use this particular kind of media? There aren't a lot of priests doing that sort of thing. <laughs> right. Yeah, it actually originated in my first few months of priesthood, I made a video with my bishop and the past vocation director called Carpool Karaoke, where you're driving around singing karaoke and asking the bishop questions. And in about a short four day span, the video got over half a million views. Wow. wow. Yeah, I quickly realized, oh my gosh, like we can really reach people all around the globe because I was getting emails, not just from people in the U.S., but people from the Philippines, from Kuwait, from uh, Central America, South America, from all over the world, I was receiving messages. And so it was really in that moment where I thought, gosh, we have to do more with social media in order to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to the entire world. Wow, that's amazing. What's the reaction typically of people when you approach them with, with your mic, a priest with a mic? <laughs> yeah, so sometimes they'll ask me, are you a real priest? which is interesting. And then really, I've been amazed that majority of people, like 70%, are willing to talk. And it actually is based on region. When I was like in California and New York, about 50-50, here in the Midwest, everyone and their mother will talk to you. <laughs> <It's amazing. laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Where can people go to find these videos? Yeah, so they go to any of my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and search at Father Mano, Father is spelled out, Mano, M-A-N-N-O, or go right to YouTube, type in Father Mano, and you'll see all the videos there. Wow, excellent. Oh. Thanks so much for being with us, Father. Thanks for taking the time out of your day. We appreciate it.
You're welcome. God bless. Thanks.